Hi everyone. So this is a little video to help explain how and why I use wire. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. I'm using red ribbon and I'm going to use this really bright green and gold pipe cleaner. Now this is for demonstration only because I do use, you know, when I'm actually making a bow, I use 26 gauge floral wire, but I'm going to use this, these pipe cleaners, so you can see very closely why I'm using the wire that, that I'm using and, and why I do it, okay? So here we go. And I'm going to use this little red ribbon, we're going to make a pretty little package bow. Okay, and so I think this wire uh, that these pipe cleaners are going to show up really well against this and you're going to be able to see this very well. So I'm going to make a little package bow. So what do I do? This is how I start. This is one ribbon and it's, and it's just a little package bow and it would be the same thing if I was using a two inch ribbon. The size of ribbon doesn't make any difference at all. Okay, so I'm going to take the end of my, let me start, but I always start with a flat end, okay? So I'm going to pinch, see how I'm pinching? I swing this around in my left hand, and I'm going to come from behind with my little piece of wire, which in this case I'm going to use a pipe cleaner, and I'm going to just put it here, and I'm going to go around one, two, one, two times. That's it, a piece of wire up and a piece of wire down. You see how that looks? So that's how that looks now. A piece of wire up and down and you just ring it around the end of your little, the end of your ribbon. And that's how you start. You put your wire on first, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring this around. I'm coming across the bottom of my bow maker. I'm coming up around the left side of the dowels. This is the first loop. I'm creating the very first loop of the bow and I'm really trying to get this very close. And you see how I have, you see how I have uh, the, my wire up and down? Okay, that's how you want to have it. And now you're going to take this and you're just going to pinch. See how I'm pinching this piece, this around my base dowel? Don't go all the way down to the bottom, it just doesn't work. Okay, please take my word for it. It just doesn't work that way. It's going to make your bow a really lumpy jawed. So you want to come in the, see how I'm halfway up the dowel? That's where you want to be. And you're going to take the top piece of wa uh, wire and you're going to go to the left. Now this is just one of the little things that you remember with using the Probo. And, you, and this is just the way you start. You go to the left and you want to go all the way up to the top. You don't, if you ring it around down here well, as you're making your bow, it's going to, all you are is going to be covered. You won't be able to get it off quickly at the end. So that is the reason why you go up and then you come around and you try to wrap, wrap the wire on itself. It just holds easier that way. Okay? Wire does not stick to wood. So you want to wrap that wire on itself. It, it just holds easier. So that's your top piece of wire. Please note that I go counterclockwise, okay? You're going to take your, the other piece of your wire and you're going to go down around the nail just once. You don't have to keep going round and round. It is not necessary, okay? That's all you need it to do and you're going to take that and kind of swing it under there and leave yourself a little loop so you can get it off quickly at the end. And this is how it should look. Okay, there you go. Wire up, wire down. Ring it around the top and the other around the nail. That's all there is to it. Okay, now we're just going to make a bow. Finger here. There's my pinch and my twist. And I always go right over, right where uh, my first, where my first wrap was. Okay, you don't travel up and down the base of the, of the finger. If you do that, you'll have a very lopsided, and your, your bow will be lopsided. Your bows won't be, won't be um, evenly spaced. It'll just be a mess. That's just very important, okay? Now, there you go. Here's your finger. There's your pinch and your twist. There you go. Around here. Finger here, bottom edge of the ribbon. 
to the bow. There's the pinch, there's the twist. Okay, finger here, bottom edge of ribbon to my finger, there's the pinch, there's the twist. And now I'm going to travel on to my next finger. Bottom edge here, here's the pinch, here's the twist. Um, this isn't really about the bow, about bow making. This is really about the wire, and I'm getting to a point here in just a minute. I want you to see. Finger here, bottom edge of ribbon. There's my pinch. There's the twist. You can hold your thumb there. Travel on. Okay? Bottom edge of finger here. Ribbon. There's the pinch. There's the twist. Go over it. Okay, you see how this is starting. I get people send me pictures of this. See how this is starting to look kind of bunchy right here. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, you see how that looks right there? Don't let that bother you. You can take your finger if that bothers you in any way. You can kind of pull that down if you like, whatever. But that is just how it's supposed to look. That is absolutely fine. Okay, so finger here bottom edge of ribbon, pinch, twist, and let's go over it. Let's do it one more time because I want to, I want, this is the next point about, about wire that I want you to see. Finger here, there's your pinch and the twist, and that's really about what this little video is about. It's about the wire. See how that's, I'm using a lot of ribbon here, and this is a thick little, um, really heavy linen little wire. Finger here, there's the pinch, there's the twist and go on here. Now, this is the spot that I wanted to tell you. A lot of people and people send me pictures and ask me what's wrong. What will happen if you're pulling too tight, if you're really pulling tight, and it seems like a, a lot of ladies do that, you're used to doing, making bows in your hand and you're holding on for dear life. And, and so most people, if they're doing anything wrong at all, is they're pulling on their ribbon too tight. You just go around the dowels. Don't, you, there's no reason, and you see if this just, I, I'm just around them, I'm, I'm not over pulling, okay? But if you have a tendency to pull too tight, I'm gonna show you how you fix this. You see the center loop of the bow? Here is the center loop of the bow. Let's do it with this finger. There is the center of your bow. Okay, you can use a helping hand wire. This is what I'm calling this. This is my helping hand wire. This is going to give you a little help. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it through that center loop. And you see where it's coming out? You always want to come out. You're going to drop it through the center and you're going to come out on the right. Okay, why? There's a reason for everything. It's very simple. You want to come out on the right because you have this little piece of wire over here on the left. You see how this your first little piece of wire is on the left? Well, you don't want to you don't want to hit it. You don't want to mess with that. So whenever you're using your helping hand wire, see it? You just go through the loop. That's all you do. You drop it through. And now you're going to catch it. And you see how you're going to just catch it? And you're going to just pull it. This is the dead center of the bottom of your bow. And so you see how I pull this little piece of wire here? And now, and like I said, I'm using pipe cleaners here, this colored pipe cleaners. This is a demonstration so you can see why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay? And now, if this had a tendency, if... If this had a, let's do it with the other hand. If this had a tendency to ride up on you, and it will if you're pulling too tight, all you have to do is drop in that little helping hand wire and watch this. Look, see how I just pull this back down? I just pull this back down, and look, you're gonna go up, around, and there's your little helping hand wire. That's all it is. Now, what have you done? You're now controlling that um, the base of your bow. Your stack out. You have total control over that because you've just added this extra little piece of wire there if you have a tendency to pull too hard. Okay? 
And if this wants to move on you, just use that little helping hand wire if you would like to. And that's the two, that's the two points. One of them goes to the left and one of them goes to the right. And that's the reasons why. You just don't want them to hit each other. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is about wire. Okay? Whenever you're using one uh, continuous piece of ribbon. So let me go ahead because I, I, I've done videos before where I stopped. I was trying to make a point and I stopped. And then I get fussed at and they said, well, I really wish you had finished that bow and, and fluffed it. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay? And... Um, and I will open it and you can just see how fast I can do this and there's the bottom edge pinch and twist drop it over come pinch and twist bringing that bottom edge up drop it over finger here pinch twist incredibly fast incredibly easy and look I'm putting all kind of loops back here pinch and twist and that is enough pinch and twist the next question I get asked is Okay, I've added two wires and I don't know what to do with them. Okay, what you want to do, now I have finished my bow. I'm going to tie off my helping hand wire first. Here it is. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull this up. And I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to ring them around a couple of times. That's it. Two, three times. That's the most. If you do, you know, any piece of wire, if you overdo it, you'll break it. Okay, so there's your little helping hand wire. I think you can clearly and easily see that. So that's your helping hand wire that I have used first. Now, I'm gonna go back and get my first piece of wire, the wire that we attach the ribbon to the bow maker to begin with. Here it is. See my little gold piece? Don't just jerk it up. You wanna wiggle it off. If you just pull it, it'll knot it. It'll knot all this wire. Get a little bitty jiggle. That's all. And so you went on clockwise, you come off clockwise. If you, if, you, if you take it off this way, and I think you'll be able to see this, you see how, I'm, I'm hoping you can see it. You see? So it goes on clockwise, clockwise, and it comes off counterclockwise. If you come off this way, well, what you've done is you've now wired that dowel to into your bow. Because you see how that piece of wire is going around it? You've wired the dowel into your bow. So you go on clockwise and you take it off counterclockwise. And now you see how I'm completely clear of the base dowel. So that's just one little little things you have to remember. On clockwise, off counterclockwise. And that's all there is to it. Okay? Now, I'm going to take the piece of wire. I'm going to put my finger here. I always do it this way. I can really tighten this up. And you want to get this as tight as you can. I always do it this way. I put my finger here. I take my first piece of wire off first, and I hold it. I come back, and I get that little loop. That's the reason why I only put it around once, because that's all that's ever needed. Make sure you come behind your finger. I give classes and I can't tell you how many people sit here and now wire their finger to their bow maker. <laughs> you don't want to wire your dowel in and you don't want to wire your finger to it. Just please go behind your finger. Okay? And now look how tight again. You can just, a lot of people said, oh, they just can't get their bow tight. Well, that, I mean, it's so incredibly easy to be able to get that extremely tight now. And I think you can clearly see that, how tight you can get it. And now at this point, and I have people that ask me this question all the time too, is how do you get a tail on your bow? So I'm going to throw that in right now. If you just take your scissors and you cut this off, you're going to have one tail. Take your scissors and cut this ribbon and you're going to have one tail okay and that'll be one tail you do not want your spool of ribbon connected to your bow so you're just going to cut it however long you want okay now if you want here's a great little trick you can open up these two pieces of wire that you have here and look what you can do you can just ring this around see how i made that little circle i think i was off camera there for a second let me move it up Okay, you see your, I could have cut that off and had one tail, or 
I can completely see how I just wrung it around and I can tie this in right here. You can take one of the pieces of wire or both, it doesn't matter. And you can just a couple of times around, two or three, no more than that. Then you can you can take your other little piece of wire if you want to. It really just doesn't matter. Okay, just get them all together. Now, I have two tails. Now I have two tails, or I have three. Okay, I can cut that off right there and have three tails. I'll go ahead and do that. So there's a tail. And here's, now look, now I have three tails. So, we've kind of covered a lot in this quick little, easy little demonstration. Tails and wires, using one ribbon. I can, I can kind of curl these up if I'd like. And you can if you want, just however you want to do it. I'm kind of used to doing wreaths, so I kind of curl them up a little bit. And since we've gone this far, this was really about wire, but I'm going to go ahead and fluff the bow too. Why not? Because if I, if I post this to YouTube and this bow isn't fluffed, I guarantee you I'm going to get fussed at. <laughs> Let's just get it off of here. And look, there's the little bow. Look how cute. Was that incredibly easy? Now here's the fluff box. We sell this. I'll, I'll have questions about this also. You can make yourself one or buy one from me. They're only $15 at, 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 on our website. Um, um, and it's just as cheap to buy one as to go out and buy all the materials to make one because you're going to have to buy a whole pack of eye hooks and a whole pack of nails. So anyway, either way that you would like it. But you see, you want to have your eye hook facing away from your nail because to use this, what you're going to do is you're going to slide this, your wires, into that eye hook and then go to your nail. And do I have enough to get around the nail? Oh, barely, but I'll make it. This was really supposed to just be about wire. But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of adding all these other things, but that's okay. So our bow is now attached to the fluff box. And now I can use both hands. Or if this was, a, if you wanted to tie this to a package, you could have just tied this to your package with your wire and, and just fluffed your bow. But I'm just gonna go ahead, since I'm this far, I just soon finish. And you can see the whole little bow. Because believe me, if I don't show the whole bow, I get fussed at. I get people, I'll get, I'll get some messages saying, I really wish you would have fluffed that little bow so we could have seen what it looked like. But anyway, there we go. This was really about wire, but what the, what the heck. I'll just soon go ahead and show a little bit more where I'm at it, don't you think? And see how, see how wonderful it is to use the fluff box um, and how easy it is to fluff out a bow whenever you can use two hands and move everything around. And so, there we go. Really, really easy little bow, incredibly fast. But it was really about, this was really supposed to be just about wire. And I'm terrible about fluffing because I never know when to stop. But I guess I'll stop now. <laughs> and there you go. There's a perfect little bow, incredibly easy. And, but this was really supposed to be about why, <laughs> but there you go. There's a little demonstration for you, and I certainly hope you enjoy it. Crowbowthehand.com or Amazon. Thank you so much.